G'day, it's George Truman and welcome to What the Wednesday. Yesterday I was down at WeWar at the Cottonseed Distributors and Lower Namoy Cotton Growers Association Field Day. It was a great way to catch up with um, growers, landholders, agronomists, um, researchers, to hear about some of the latest research that's been undertaken in the cotton industry. Speakers were from uh, CSIRO, Cotton Info and Cottonseed Distributors. These days provide a great opportunity to catch up on the latest research, new findings and technologies, challenges and what's going on across the region. There were around 70 people there at the field day from areas such as Moree, Weewar, Narrabri, Gunnedah and others across the northwest region. Some interesting information from the field day included the discussion on how the cotton is responding to the lower temperatures and radiation, which impacts on the growing degree days. With the temperatures affecting the node development, and more cloudy days affecting biomass due to less photosynthesis as the cotton is growing in a light limited environment. The impacts of this cooler and more cloudy period is a shedding of squares and shedding of fruit. Nothing really can be done about this situation. You really can't catch up. The long-term records do indicate that this year's cotton crop is 100 degree days behind the average, with the overall impact not really known until the crop is picked. This uh, information was presented by Warren Conaty from the CSIRO. Has Jalami, also from the CSIRO, spoke about the growing crop in a limited water scenario, which really hasn't been a big issue this year, but is often the case, and with a focus on water use efficiency, um, the use of um, crop canopy sensors as a tool to, to match irrigations with crop water demand through continuous monitoring of plants is being continually tested to better understanding how to improve water use efficiency and productivity in irrigated cotton systems. Some new technology was presented from by Tom Dowling from Goanna Ag. He presented growers with new telemetry tools to improve irrigation scheduling. These include moisture probes, canopy temperature sensors, combinations to provide a fully integrated approach to better understanding how the crop is performing, optimal time for the next irrigation, how much has been used, and how efficiently the water is being used. Elsie Hudson from Cotton Info presented some information on Verticillium wilt research. So it was overall a really good day. It's, um, it's great to catch up with people. Um, these are great opportunities to learn new things, find out what's happening across the region, um, and then also being able to extend that information to others or to at least know who to um, forward inquiries to when you catch up with some of these researchers because they're really always keen to hear from growers um, because they're the ones that often have the challenges and that helps to feed into, into future research. So uh, just a, a little bit of a recap on, on yesterday and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the paddock next week.